No, I have to make this work. There's no way I can move to a foreign country and not know anyone, not have any type of community. Welcome to Unconventional Itinerary. If this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. My name is Heather. I am a United States veteran, a single mom, and I currently live in Portugal. If you stumbled across this video or you were searching to find out to see if there is a black expat community in Portugal, then you definitely came to the right place. So I came to Portugal with my 14 year old daughter back in August of 2021. Prior to that, we were living in Medida, Mexico, and then we decided to move here. Prior to moving to Portugal, we were living in Medida, Mexico for seven months. It was a great experience. People always ask me all the time, well, if you loved Mexico, especially that area, why did you move to Portugal? Well, there are several factors that went into the decision on why we have relocated. Number one, my daughter wanted to go to college in Europe and I really wanted her to get back into the swing of things since we have been homeschooling and unschooling for five years. It just made more sense to establish ourselves there, get her into a European school so she will fit right in when she transitioned to college. Another reason why I relocated is because the heat was extremely hot. Although I love hot weather, just the humidity in Medina, Mexico is sometimes unbearable and because of my health issues, it was getting a little bit too much for me to be in the heat for so long. And lastly, I'm in film school and I really wanted to film in Europe. There's so many amazing places that I wanted to film. So it just made more sense to apply for our visas and relocate to Europe. Right now, Portugal is such a hot spot and everyone is trying to come here. I'm going to do another video to explain the process on how we obtained our visas here. Um, it is a little bit lengthy, so I really won't go into details, but definitely be on the lookout for my next video. Since moving to Portugal, especially Lisbon, I've met so many amazing people. I formed organic relationships and I've created a safe community for not only black people. I created a safe place for black expats, not only Americans, but expats from all other countries where we can come together, thrive and build organic relationships. So prior to moving to Portugal, I joined a Facebook group called Black to Portugal and I remember, you know, skimming that group and not seeing much of anything that was going on. I remember asking questions, you know, hey, are there any events? Are there any get togethers? And there really wasn't anyone answering my questions. Um, I do know that the group had just started, so maybe it was less than 600 people in the group. Um, but I thought to myself, you know, I thought to myself, you know, I have to make this work. There's no way I can move to a foreign country and not know anyone, not have any type of community. You know, I have to make this work. There's no way I can move to a foreign country and not know anyone, not have any type of community. And that was really my number one goal when I arrived to Lisbon. I needed to create a community where I can thrive and also my daughter could thrive as well. So for those that are on the fence about coming to Portugal or are on their scouting trip, they want to know, is there a black community here? Yes, in the Lisbon area, there is an amazing black community. I think what I find most of the questions people ask me or I see on the internet is, is there diversity in Portugal? Are there black people in Portugal? Will I walk down the street and see people that look like me? Absolutely, yes. I think some people just think that there are no black people in Portugal, uh, which is totally understandable. I learned so much about the Portuguese and African culture since being here. And one thing that some people do not realize is that the Portuguese had colonized several African countries, Mozambique, Sao Tome, uh, Cape Verde, Angola, and Guinea-Bissau. So all these people from these African countries are here in Portugal. So it's very diverse. I can walk down the street right now and see so many people that look like me. It almost kind of feels like I'm in a, another US city minus the trauma. One thing I noticed here is that also when you're walking on the street and you see another black person, you know, I always want to say, hey, what's up? But I really don't know if they speak English or not. That's just the crazy thing about it. And my Portuguese is horrible. So I might say hola and that's it. Um, but like I said, Mexico was easier because if there was a black person there, most likely they are from America or they speak English. So how did I build a community here in Portugal? Well, 
I arrived here on my birthday, my 35th birthday, August 27th, and I immediately went to work. I hosted my first brunch, which had 11 people that attended. I made a post on Facebook, uh, the Facebook group Black to Portugal, and people said they wanted to, you know, come out and meet up for brunch, and that's what we did. After hosting that brunch, I thought to myself, wow, like, I've met so many people. I've only been here for like less than two weeks. I met people that are from all walks of life. They're all, all different journeys here in Portugal and they all do, do all different types of work. You know, coming from the military, all I know is like a military mindset. I don't really know like all these jobs that are out there that before didn't exist, you know, 10 years ago or pre pandemic. They were so authentic and the positive energy that was overflowing from both tables was, you know, amazing to me. I never felt that type of energy before from strangers that I just met. And just from that little community I created, there was a possibility for it to grow and become much larger than I could ever expect. So as weeks went on, I started to have more events. I started to, you know, post. Um, one of the events that I definitely did enjoy was the charcuterie board and sunset event where, you know, we all got together and we sat at one of the um, one of the parks here that has a beautiful viewpoint for a sunset. We had our meats, our cheese, um, other little finger foods, and we all just conversed and got to know each other. You know, the people I hadn't met previously I met um, came out and it was just a really great feeling. So after that first brunch, I had created a WhatsApp group originally to get people together to, for the brunch, but that WhatsApp group turned into an amazing exclusive community just for black women and women of color. I also hosted a Friendsgiving event with a friend and that had an amazing turnout. And Friendsgiving, it's you know just like Thanksgiving except for friends. And we had turkeys, we had mashed potatoes, we had cornbread. Uh, if you attended the event, you know that it was an amazing, amazing turnout. So many different people, people that were visiting, people that just arrived, people that have lived here, people you know coming from different areas of Portugal came to this event that I hosted. And it was such a great feeling seeing everyone, you know, enjoying themselves, talking, meeting new people, building relationships. I kind of felt that it was just organic. Like everything was just happening, you know, flowing the way it was supposed to flow. Another thing that really motivated me to build a community here was because sometimes, you know, when you're far away from home, you know, just being able to have a conversation with someone else in English can go a long ways. I really don't speak any Portuguese. I find it very difficult to speak it sometimes. Uh, my Portuguese kind of sounds like Spanglish uh, because some of the words that I pronounce kind of sound Spanish. And also a lot of the Portuguese words are very nasally or made from the throat. And in English, we don't really have you know, sounds like that. So I do find it a little difficult. So having a community where I can just talk freely and not have to worry about a language barrier was really, really important to me. I also wanted to have a community where I felt home, especially while I'm away from home. And what I mean by that, I mean by having someone I could depend on, you know, if an emergency came up, you know, I can just pick up the phone and someone could assist me. Or if I had questions, you know, someone that, you know, had experience with my question could answer it. These are all really important to me and I knew that I had to have a community in order for all these things to make sense. What I mean by having someone to depend on, I mean someone that you can, you know, go out and have a good time, go out to brunch, have a shoulder to lean on, you know, laugh, cry, make memories with. These are the types of things and relationships that I really wanted to have here in Lisbon. So what I told myself I was going to do, I was going to start bringing people together by any means possible and creating a community that others can thrive in as well. For the record, I am such an introvert. I don't know why everyone thinks I am an extrovert. I have social anxiety. Sometimes I do not know what to say to people, especially in large groups. I think I have to muster up enough energy and have an extroverted side of me come out. Um, but. I like to keep to myself, I like my privacy, I like to be home, but then another part of me here, you know, wants to be out with people, wants to mingle, wants to, you know, see what's going on. I will say, I think coming to Portugal, especially Lisbon with that mindset of wanting to build a community, it has brought out an extrovert side of me, but I am still very much an introvert that, you know, I am super shy. Like sometimes I'm just like, okay, I don't know what to say, you know, just smile at these people. 
So what does my community look like? My community is filled with not only amazing black women and women of color, it is made up of men, women, and young adults from all different walks of life who are not only mothers, wives, fathers, husbands, but also digital nomads and so much more. There are so many words to describe this community, but first, let me tell you a quick story about how the community came through for me when I needed them most. Okay, so when I first moved to Portugal, Lisbon exactly, we stayed in an Airbnb or a flat Tio type rental. Um, I booked it for six months. It was on the first floor, but here in Portugal, the first floor is kind of like the second floor. And it's not too high up off the ground, but it's, you know, high enough off the ground. So the windows here in Portugal are a little bit different. They can either open up backwards a little bit, they can open up all, all the way, or they are just shut, you know. So in the evening time, this was, I think, September in the evening time, um, we would leave the windows open a little bit because it was hot. Um, not every place has AC. And the window was high up enough that, you know, someone can't just walk by and like look in the window. It was high up, high up, high up. I would say it was about six or seven inches, maybe like 10 inches above my head. So maybe above my head standing. And I'm about five nine. So one night, um, it was like two, three o'clock in the morning. I hear like a large bang, it was like bang. And it startled me and I got up and I'm like yelling, Mackenzie, Mackenzie, are you okay? Are you okay? And uh, she comes running into my room, you know, frightened or whatever. And she's like, there was a man climbing into her window. And at this point I'm freaking out. So I'm like, run back in the room, like making sure like everything's closed or whatever. Um, and it was a really frightening situation, not only for myself, but my daughter, because she's sleeping in a place that I I want her to feel safe in. And then there's a man crawling into her window. Um, so we were really startled or whatever. I really didn't know what to do. At this point, I did not call the police. I know, why didn't you call the police? But in my head, I'm just like, it's like four o'clock in the morning. It's super dark. The man's probably gone by the time. After I tried to call the police, try to explain everything, language barrier. It just made more sense just to try to go to police station to follow a report in the morning. So anyway, um, we end up, you know, bolting the doors, the windows locked, and Mackenzie just sleeps in my room. Um, so for several weeks, you know, I would make sure I would come home and I would not leave the house after a certain time, especially when it started to get dark. So the next morning, uh, I went outside to walk Bandit, and I noticed that the person that had tried to get into Mackenzie's room clearly was able to reach stuff because her Nintendo Switch case was outside the door. Uh, I forget, there was like a few other items that were outside the door that definitely were in her bedroom. Also, I didn't see a trash can or anything, so I'm not sure if he used a trash can, didn't use a trash can, or somebody moved the trash can, but there's no way that person could have just walked and like jumped up or anything like that. Um, so we ended up going to the police station. Of course, you know, I kind of feel turned away because they were just like, oh, so why didn't you just call us? You know, there's nothing we could do now. So it's kind of like a slap in the face. Shame on me for not, you know, calling the police right away. But like I said, I'm in a foreign country. The language barrier, having to explain things, you know, I we were, I think, not even a month here, maybe two, I don't even know how many weeks we have been here for. So I told my community, I was telling them, you know, they would you tell me things to do and you know, they're the ones that, you know, do the police report. But um, I immediately did not, I had to move, you know, I didn't feel safe there. I mean, there were other issues with the Airbnb, but um, I ended up moving into a hotel. Um, where the community comes into play is that not only did they help me pack up, um, one one of the women took all of our stuff that I had purchased and stuff that we came with. She took it to her house. Another woman took all my plants. Uh, I had people come help me clean up and everything. Um, just like the outpour of love. Um, what also I did like was that during this transition time of me moving into, waiting to move to my apartment and hotel bouncing was that some of the women actually cooked meals for me and Mackenzie. You know, I was not expecting that at all, you know, for me not to know someone for so long for them to say hey let me cook you a home cooked meal and it wasn't something like spaghettios or like something um hamburger helpler or whatever you know it, it was a really nice generous gesture to know that my community cared about me and not only me but also about mckenzie you know um 
thankfully we have not had any more of these instances happen although i still feel like portugal is a safe place i just know that now on you know i would not get an apartment on the first floor it would have to definitely be the second or third floor or above um and also just make better choices maybe i shouldn't have left the windows open you know a piss poor call on my end but the point is is that the community came through for me you know in so many ways even when i move they helped me move so where can you find community like this in portugal lisbon i feel has the best community that i have seen so far i know people live all over portugal uh, i always ask people you know hey people from algar people from porto how's the black community there and i really don't hear much about it so if you are in those two communities or anywhere else in portugal please let me know in the comment section how the black community is there another way to find communities for you especially in portugal or anywhere in the world you're traveling to instagram for for sure instagram facebook groups and there's also an app called the expat expat app um which i highly recommend i will put that information below so you know we could download it it has so many different resources locations connecting people within the black community i highly recommend it is it easy to create a community here um i think for me it was because i was very intentional in what i needed to thrive and what i needed you know to be able to adapt well but it can also be challenging especially if there's like a language barrier as well or if you're in an area where there's not a lot of black expats or people that look like you so i know i mentioned before i'm an introvert and i'm super shy um but like i know there's people out there are thinking hey i'm so shy i don't think i can you know build a community or have a community or fit in okay let me tell you another story i had met up with an amazing woman who had messaged me on facebook and i remember we had been talking but i can't remember where exactly i met her from but she wanted to meet up and i said okay well maybe you know she wanted something or you know i don't know so i met up with her and she was telling me she was like hey i've been watching your stories and i know you always speak about how you're an introvert and that you're shy but i also see you you know going out there you know hosting events and doing things and meeting people and you're always out you know and i just wanted to say that you know it like it, it inspired her you know and i really thought that was really thoughtful of her to share that with me and how she wanted to start to get out and meet people and actually her watching me on my instagram you know really made her think you know i can be out there living my best life too so she started to come out and go to events and i'm just so proud that she actually made that leap and you could still be shy you could still have a smaller community you don't have to have a huge community but just having a group that you feel comfortable with is just really important versus having a large a larger group of people where you know you have that social anxiety you don't know what to say you don't know if you're going to fit in you're always thinking 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 so another question that i wanted to cover is have i built relationships between black portuguese locals and the answer is yes so i feel like this isn't talked about enough i feel that people that come here not everyone but people that come to other countries especially portugal they're just focused on you know expat life just the ins and outs like they don't they're not really interested in getting to know the locals they may not be interested in you know integrating and hanging out or anything like that they just are comfortable with other expats which there's nothing wrong with that at all like i totally get it but for me i am so interested in meeting new people hearing new stories especially you know people from the african diaspora so how how am i meeting these people um so I follow Instagrams of people tag other places. Uh, I show up to their events or businesses. I always say hi. Um, I try to support them the best way possible. Even if I'm in passing somewhere and I'm passing by their business or I see them on the street, I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, the conversation doesn't have to be in depth. I do find that many of them do speak English, um, English enough to hold, you know, a basic conversation. But, you know, just a simple hello can go far away. You know, I really want to bridge the gap between black expats and, you know, black Portuguese that are here. All right, lastly, what is black in Portugal? I know that people have been seeing it and don't really know what it is, or they've been in Portugal, or they're coming to Portugal and never heard of it before, or even if you're here in Portugal and you know what it is you know how amazing this community is. If you're not already following us, definitely go to our Instagram, Black in Portugal. And also we have a Facebook group called Black in Portugal for Black expats, Black locals. Uh, if you identify as Black, 
However, if you do have a black significant other or do not identify as black yourself, then we also have a sister group called People of Color in Portugal and they're pretty much the same groups except black in Portugal is more of a safer place just for black people. So before black in Portugal was a thing, the Facebook group originally was called Black to Portugal and I was one of the original members. I think it was less than 400 people, maybe less than that when I joined. And although I was not the founder of it, when the original owner decided that she was no longer coming to Portugal anymore, one of my friends became the admin and she tagged me along because she saw I was doing events, I was active, I was always doing something. And then the name changed to Black from Black to Portugal to Black in Portugal, which I can officially say I'm one of the original founders of Black in Portugal. And I'm also the event director as well. So what exactly is Black in Portugal? Black in Portugal, Black in Portugal is a Lisbon-based group, but we also serve Greater Portugal as well. And what exactly does Black in Portugal do? Um, in a nutshell, we, which is myself, Cam, Ashley, and Anna, uh, we host events, we do meetups for black expats in the local black Portuguese community. We provide a ton of resources for people that are moving to Portugal or relocating or just visiting Portugal as well. We not only highlight black business owners, but also local Portuguese black businesses as well. And lastly, community. We are building something so big right now, so big that we're, you know, expanding to other areas of Portugal. We really want a community that's not only positive, and nurturing but we want it here in portugal that's built for us and by us in a nutshell if you're in lisbon visiting portugal definitely come check us out follow our instagram follow our facebook group to get all the information about upcoming events happenings uh, meetups that we're doing definitely check us out so i hope i covered everything in this video i know it's kind of i covered a lot of things but i really want everyone to know that there is a black community here there really is. I'm going to uh, post some pictures of some of the events that we have had in Portugal. And definitely if you have any questions, put the questions in the comment section and I will definitely answer them. All right, y'all, I gotta get going. Time for a meeting. I will check y'all on the next video. Bye.